This is the Simulation Football League semifinals presented by Football Shift on YouTube. With a ticket to the SFL Championship in Cincinnati on the line, two heavyweights enter the stockyards. In the visitor's corner, it's the four-time defending and five-time all-time champions, the Baltimore Vultures, who have been in this situation before. Two of their five titles have come with wins against number one seeds in semifinal games, where their experience lead them on. And in the home corner, it's the unbeaten and unperturbed Fort Worth Toros. This Toro squad leaves no survivors. If their offense won't stampede you into submission, watch out for their horns. Their defense has created the most turnovers and has given up the least amount of points this season. Will they continue their charge to the finals? It's destiny versus dynasty right here on semi-final Sunday. A gain of 13 on the scamper from Dunhill. He's back to pass here on first down and it's picked off! A deflection and diving attempt from Elijah Warfield pulls it in and Baltimore take over. Well, how about that? You've got the great run right there by Dunhill just a moment ago that extended this drive. And take a look at this. This really just great defense, of course, right there by Baltimore. Just good solid tackles, wrap-up tackles. That's what Fort Worth needs, and that was done to perfection. Wigmore looking right side. Fits it in nicely near the 30-yard line of Matt Chima. That's another first down. Will the defense for the Toros be able to capitalize? Roll out. Near side, throwing across his body, and he connects with Daly Holder for a first down inside the 15. In the last six seasons, champions, five of the six, and Warren Murray, the warhorse, keeps his legs churning for a first and goal down to the four-yard line. Another third down here on the drive. They try and go up the middle with no fullback. And maybe that's why the defense got to him again. A fantastic goal line stand. Another tackle from Vinson, and it's fourth and goal. Here is the field goal attempt from Shark Tarkington. It is up and good. Fourth and inches, they go with a run up the middle. The fullback can't get it done. Aaron Alexander is stopped behind the line. It's another turnover. This one of the on downs variety. Now from Fort Worth's 45 yard line, Wigmore will look to throw again. Five man rush, has to get rid of it. Finds his tight end, Caesar Ackerman at the 30. A gain of 15 for the Vultures. First and 10 from the 28-yard line, Wigmore to throw right side. There's Irvin again, turning up hill and stepping out of bounds near the 8-yard line. First and goal, Baltimore. It's a field goal attempt. Let's see what they can draw up this time. Punch set, far side, Wigmore over the middle. It's deflected away by Aiden Davis. So Tarkington has already made one from 19 from the right hash. This time it'll be five yards back, 24-yard attempt from the left hash. Snap spot, kick is up, and it is good. Don't let them gain an inch, stop them in their tracks. Pass middle and thump. Somehow, Wigmore floats it over the defender's head for Mac Chima. First down, Vultures. Offensive line shifts to the outside, expecting something there, and they try and go that way with T Roy. Bulldozes through one. EK Vincent can't take him down, and T Roy is out of bounds near the 16 yard line. First down, Vultures. Passing play now, looking middle, open is Irvin. He hauls it in at the five, and it's first and goal, Baltimore. Another eye formation. Here for Baltimore. They try and stretch it out. Left side, T-Roy, one man to beat it. Boulder dives in. Touchdown, Vultures, and they take a two-score lead. The SFL produces over 400 events a year. There is no one else that gives you more football. And the pass is caught. <laughs> Steven Hacker lays out for that one. He looked like a center fielder diving for a fly ball, and he comes up with a football. That's the best analogy I had, Tyler. I'm sorry, but man, that was that was a great play. <laughs> Another blitz coming. Dunhill with pressure behind him. He throws middle. That one is also caught. Cade Stevens moves the Toros into the red zone for the first time tonight. 
Four man rush, pass right side, caught Kate Stevens! Touchdown, Toros, and they're on the board with under a minute to go in the first half. So here comes play number two of the drive. Wigmore looking right side again. It's Ivory Irvin on the run to the 45-yard line of the Toros. The Toros defense needs to lock up now as they hand off to Murray this time. He tries to shake and bake and does get away and is going further forward to the 20-yard line. They go from coast to coast. 4-3 look out of the Toros defense. And they will go and try and defend a pass over the middle. Chima leaps up and brings it down inside the 10 and makes it first and goal. Linebackers again shift to the outside, trying to defend an outside run. And indeed, here goes Murray outside, looking to stretch the play. It's a huge stiff arm. And there is he, Roy Gaines, ladies and gentlemen. Touchdown, Baltimore. But definitely take some more shots through the air. Bacon on the give left side, and he will pick up the first down and more as he drags Troy Losha along for the ride. And Run again, this time at the fullback, Aaron Alexander. Aaron Alexander with a good burst of speed to the 31-yard line. What it took for Baltimore to move the ball, that's something to keep an eye on with time winding down in the third. Eighth play of the drive, Dunhill looking middle, caught, first down, inside the 20, it's Hacker again. They talk about in zone coverage, you have to find the window in the zone. Dunhill did just that, that's a veteran quarterback for you. As he rolls out, near side, across his body, one-handed stag, Steven Hacker, touchdown, Toros, they're back into a one-score deficit. Red zone territory to put more points on the board, but if Fort Worth can stop them, could be a big difference here. Four man rush pass right side, uh -oh. picked off and going the other way. Aiden Davis down the sideline. Wigmore chasing him, can't get him. Here comes Matt Chima at the 10 yard line. Or is it Warren Murray? It is Murray who pushes him out at the one yard line. A massive turnover for the Toros. Will they run the ball or try and get fancy? Pitch play left side, Bacon out of a tackle and he scores but still there, that, that really changes the complexion of what you want to do here at times. Pass middle again, caught by Irvin again at midfield. But time ticking, of course, and you know everybody in the room is paying attention. Blitz coming, heavy blitz coming, and open is Chima behind the defense, and no one will stop him. Touchdown, Baltimore, they retake the lead. Be able to do when they are in second and third down, not have to try to make so many yards up. Passing attempt over the middle, one-headed snap from Ivory Irvin as they cross midfield. Fifth play of the drive here for Baltimore, and they will go back to the air. Wigmore under pressure, down he goes! The defensive ends of Jerry Degon and Jeff Duffy combine to bring down Wigmore in the backfield. Chima goes from right to left behind Wigmore, and Wigmore goes back to pass. Pass near the sticks, and just like that, it's 18 yards. Wigmore looks to throw left side. It is cut on the run. Mac Chima inside the five, and he's in. Touchdown, Vultures. They're now up by two scores with just over three to play. Championship game in Cincinnati to keep their season hopes alive. Three-man rush. Dunhill, near side, incomplete, looking for Jay-Z Bacon. I formation versus goal line defense. Hand up, Warhorse, got it. Touchdown, the final nail in the coffin comes from Warren Murray. 33 seconds to go, trips to Dunhill's right from the nine yard line. Dunhill, middle, picked off, Frank Smith, that's your ball game. Baltimore is headed back to the SFL championship game. It'll be a battle of dynasties old and continuing. The three-time, the first three-peat champion, Florida Storm, will take on the current four-time, five-time, all-time champion Baltimore Vultures in the season 21 
SFL Championship game in Cincinnati, Ohio this Saturday night.